Alrighty, we're at the Home 2 Suite in Louisville, Texas, and uh, we've replaced the Samsung startup logo with the Home 2 Suite's logo. Uh, now the TV's, uh, that fades off screen and it's gone to find the data channel, so there's the guest user interface. You see it's got the uh, channel list there, kind of in the upper left-hand side of the screen. Beside that's the weather, and that'll be populating here in just a minute. Uh, lower left, I've superimposed the Home 2 Suites logo in the lower left of the picture. And then on the right hand side, um, you'll see that it's got the time and the date over there. And I don't know why the weather's taking so long, but it's taking a minute to update. Once the music starts playing, then the weather will populate shortly thereafter. And it's like taking an exceptional amount of time for some reason. As I wobble all over the place with the camera. Okay, as soon as I paused it, then it popped in. Um, if I arrow to the left, because the default setting is to power on initially to the channel guide in case somebody just wants to hit enter and go to that, but if they want to know what the forecast is, they just arrow to the left. You see it highlights that block, you hit enter, and uh, once you hit enter, it will then go to the extended forecast for this area. You can exit out of that by just hitting the return button. Bring us back to our home screen. And then again, it defaults back to the TV channel list. If I hit enter on that, you're gonna see that it goes to the list in the electronic program guide. If I pick a specific channel to tune to and then come back to the guide, I've got video in the window and I can actually scroll up and down either one line at a time or I can do an entire uh, channel uh, page at a time. And you notice that all the local channels are grouped together and the same thing is going to be true for the premium channels, news channels, sports channels, and the uh, Spanish channels. So again, Home 2 Suites, Louisville, Texas. And uh, I've got a little bit more mapping to do to get the numbers from uh, whatever dash whatever to just a single digit number uh, with no dash or zero behind it.